And now to an NBC24 exclusive. Many local animal lovers were outraged by the shooting of two family dogs by Northwest Ohio police officers. NBC24's Angie Gonzalez has a look at both cases, what has happened in the months since then, and she helps dog owners avoid similar tragedies in the future. Two family pets, one in Finley, the other in Woodville. Miles apart, but each would have the same encounter in recent months. December 2014, three-year-old boxer Chase and another dog would come face-to-face -face with Finley police captain Sean Young. I don't know how they got out. Chase's owner, Pat Lammers, would later learn that the pair had somehow escaped from her fenced-in yard. But Chase would never return home. <laughs> Chase died during the incident, which was later deemed a justified shooting. Weeks earlier in Woodville, Moses the Chocolate Lab was wounded, shot by canine officer Steve Gilkerson. Since the incident, Moses has had his wounded leg amputated, and Officer Gilkerson has been cleared of any wrongdoing, like Young arguing that he acted in fear of his own safety. An explanation that doesn't sit well with animal advocate Jeffrey Justice. All a cop has to say is, I felt threatened and it's over. But Justice isn't entirely critical of Woodville police, who since their shooting have equipped cruisers with dash cams, given officers body cameras, and will host a Canine Encounters law enforcement training seminar in May. With the one exception of Woodville and the mayor there, no one has any interest in uh, any dog encounter training. In addition to that eight-hour Canine Encounters course, the city of Woodville also tapped the owner of BarkBusters in-home dog training to lead a two-hour training session held last Sunday. One of my clients um, is from Woodville, and she asked me to um, do a presentation for the police officers in Woodville as far as what they should and shouldn't do when they're approached by a dog. But responsibility doesn't only lie with local law enforcement. Even animal advocates say it all starts with a dog's owner. We love our dogs. They're part of our families. But that doesn't mean that other people feel the same way. And it's up to us as the owners. We owe it to our dogs to safely, to make sure they're safe, to ensure that by controlling them properly. For Cheryl Kubista, an essential step is ensuring your dog can't roam free, making sure they're either supervised, on a leash, or in a contained environment. Making sure that your gates are locked. It's up to us to make sure it's maintained and taken care of. And without taking such basic precautions, you actually increase the risk your pet might pay the ultimate price. For NBC24 News, I'm Angie Gonzalez. Again, while the officers in both local cases were found to have been justified in their action, Lammer's elderly roommate, 74-year-old Keith Thompson, was charged with allowing the dogs to run loose and has since pleaded guilty and paid a fine. Woodville has planned to train law enforcement officers on canine encounters on May 4th. Space is available for 85 officers, so officers from other jurisdictions can call Woodville police to sign up.